A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear this word, O children of Israel, that the Lord pronounces over you, over the whole family that I brought up from the land of Egypt. You alone have I favored more than all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your crimes. Do two walk together unless they have agreed? Does a lion roar in the forest when it has no prey? Does a young lion cry out from its den unless it has seized something? Is a bird brought to the earth by a snare when there is no lure for it? Does a snare spring up the ground without catching anything? If the trumpet sounds in the city, Will the people not be frightened if evil befalls the city? Has not the Lord caused it? Indeed, the Lord God does something without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. The lion roars who will not be afraid. The Lord speaks who will not prophesy. The lion roars who will not be afraid. The Lord speaks who will not prophesy. I brought upon you such upheaval as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You were like a brand plucked from the fire, yet you returned not to me, says the Lord. So now I will deal with you in my own way, O Israel. And since I will deal thus with you, prepare to meet your God, O Israel. Responsorial Psalm, lead me in your justice, Lord. At dawn I bring my plea expectantly before you. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lead me in your justice, Lord. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lead me in your justice, Lord. But I, because of your abundant mercy, will enter your house. I will worship at your holy temple in fear of you, O Lord. Lead me in your justice, Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus got into the boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly, a violent storm came up on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by waves. But he was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified? O you of little faith. Then he got up, rebuked the wind and the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? How can we fight fear with faith? Jesus' sleeping presence on the storm-toast sea reveals the sleeping faith of his disciples. They feared for their lives, even though their Lord and Master was with them in the boat. They were asleep to Christ while he was present to them in their hour of need. The Lord is ever present to us, and in our time of testing, He asked the same question. Why are you afraid? Have you no faith? Do you recognize the Lord's presence with you, especially when you meet the storms of adversity, sorrow, and temptation? Whenever we encounter trouble, the Lord Jesus is there with the same reassuring message. It is I. Do not be afraid. What are the characteristics of faith and how can we grow in it? Faith is an entirely free gift 
that God makes to us. Believing is only possible by grace and the help of the Holy Spirit who moves the heart and who opens the eyes of the mind to understand and accept the truth which God has revealed to us. Faith enables us to relate to God rightly and confidently with trust and reliance by believing and adhering to His Word because He is utterly reliable and trustworthy. Fear does not need to cripple us from taking right action and rob us from our trust and reliance on God. Courage working with faith enables us to embrace God's word of truth and love with confidence and to act on it with firm hope in God's promises. The love of God strengthens us in our faith and trust in Him and enables us to act with justice and kindness towards our neighbor, even in the face of the opposition or harm. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, Increase my faith in your redeeming love and power that I may always recognize your abiding presence with me. Give me courage and strength to face every difficulty, trial, and temptation with trust in your saving help and guiding presence. Amen. <music>